Hi, my name is Carla Holt and I'm going to show you some of the accessibility settings on an iPad or an iPod that will support students who have low vision. So in this tutorial we'll look at the large text feature, the invert color feature, and the zoom feature on an iPad. All of these settings can be turned on in the settings app. So let's open up the settings app first of all. And I'm going to click on general on the sidebar and I'm going to scroll down to accessibility. So I'm going to click on accessibility and here you'll notice one of the selections is large text. Let's start with that. So I'm just going to click on large text. Right now off is selected so I would change that to you know anywhere from 40 point whatever would suit the student best and now if I open up my mail app or my notes app my text will be the 40 point font. So if I open up my notes, you can see here we have 40 point font. Unfortunately, the large font does not transfer to all apps, so you will need to double check, but we will look at the zoom feature that does transfer to all apps. Additionally, we're going to look at the invert color setting. So let's go back into our settings app. Now I'm still on the large print right now. I'm just going to shut mine off and I'm going to go back, hit the back bar at the top where it says accessibility. So I'm still in settings, general accessibility, and as you can see here's invert color. So when I turn that on, you'll notice you see a greater contrast between the black and white with the black background and the white font. And that does carry over to most apps. So if I open up my Safari or if I open up Mail, you'll notice we have the black background with the white font. So I'm just going to switch that off and we'll start to have a quick look at the zoom feature. So to turn on the zoom, I'm just going to go back to settings, click on general at the side, scroll down to accessibility, and I'm going to tap on zoom. And now I'm going to turn zoom on and I do want you to note that it does change the way in which you can move around your iPad. So I'm just going to turn that on right now. So now the main thing that you need to realize is that you're going to use three fingers to drag around the screen. So the zoom feature is very useful when you want students who have low vision to be able to read different menus on the settings on their iPad because we cannot simply do a pinch to zoom in. So I'm now I'm going to grab three fingers and I'm going to go back down to the menu and I'm going to scroll down and you can see I'm moving around the screen. I still use one finger to tap, but it's about three fingers to move around. When I go to my apps, they are also zoomed in. So again, I can use three fingers to move those the app screen to navigate around the app screen. Anytime I want to switch screens, I'll just use one finger to swipe like we normally do. So now if I open up Safari, I can again use three fingers to zoom in. So tap with three fingers, three fingers to drag around the page. But here on a web page, I would still want to do that pinch to enlarge the text more. And then as well, three fingers to drag around the page with the zoom. So we have looked at features to support students with low vision, such as the large text feature, the invert colors, and the zoom feature.